hi guys uh, so in this video I will compare my mutant C version 4 with the UMPC uh, first of all I will let you guys know my mutant C is not based on the Sony Vio UX uh, is based on the Nokia sliding mobiles I based my mutant C according to that then later on I discovered the UMPC I'm really glad I discovered it. Uh, that's how I added the thumbstick. Uh, as you know, in the version one or two, there wasn't thumbstick. Later, when I saw the mutancy, sorry, the UMPC of Sony, then later I use uh, I added the thumbstick. Before that, I only followed the Nokia sliding mobiles, so there wasn't any thumbstick. Today's sponsor is PCBW. They have PCB printing service starting from $5. You can order 10 PCBs in 9 different colors here. They also have 3D printing service which is very reasonable. Go to the third section of the website and click 3D printing service and add your own STL file. Choose materials and other features and get a price. Check out their 3D printing service and PCB printing service from the video description below. So first uh, let's compare the displays. Uh, my UM, uh, my C have 4 inch display and this one have 4.5 inch. Uh, but the resolution uh, is better in the UMPC. But it also bearable because uh, that small form factor of the uh, sorry the small size of the display and second of all uh, the keyboard the mutancy's keyboard is much better while well, typing you can get a feedback even though it looks ugly I'm I can assure you the typing experience is much better than the uh, the UMPC because in the this Sony bio you have you yeah, you have to use the nails while you are typing you can use your uh, belly of your thumb to type it's really hard to get a click but in the meeting C you can use your belly of your thumb or the finger either works so the keyboard is much better in the meeting C but uh, it looks ugly maybe in version 5 I, I will do something to fix the ugliness maybe so that's that is the keyboard uh, as for the keys uh, I think both have similar key uh, you will find the important ones in both uh, UMPC but uh, this one have um, like more keys than meet and see as for the thumbstick as I said in my uh, the UMPC video Sony UMPC video the thumbstick have a left click but that's annoying while you're moving but in the mutant C's one is much better to move the thumbstick uh, but it's really pointy maybe in the version 5 I will use a joystick and as for the sliding mechanism uh, in the mutant C you have to use two fingers maybe with one fingers you can do it but it's really hard uh, for opening with one but you can't use one finger to close it you have to use two because it should be balanced but the mechanism is really simple it doesn't use any uh, metal or other stuff but in the bio you can use either one with the two but the mechanism is smooth also it uses much complex materials like uh, plastic or the metal here so the mechanism is complex but it's really smooth and feels really great but for the um, mutancy it's simple but it works how it used how it's meant to be it doesn't fall off yeah that's the point of the sliding keyboard holding here uh, as for the thickness uh, both are similar uh, the mutant C uh, thickness is 35 millimeter 
and the um piece is one is 39 so four millimeter difference and but in the length uh, like like from here to here so it's much larger the umpc sony but with the bigger battery it's much larger you can get also this uh, the slim battery but it doesn't last that much uh, and the top there's two button for the meet and see but for the umpc it's only one for the capture button mm, umpc have the sd card slot but meet and see don't have one maybe in version 5 uh, it has much uh, more connectivity for the meet and see like 4 usb 1 ethernet hdmi um, microphone head, sorry headphone jack the charging but for the bio umpc it has one extra is the sd card other than that it doesn't have that much of expandability like only one usb port and headphone jack that's all and the most annoying thing is like you need to have the barrel jack charging this this one uh, while you are going outside uh, this barrel jack but uh, in the ump uh, sorry the mutant c you can use an usb c charger so uh, you don't have to use the proprietary uh, charging brick for Mittency, so you can charge with your external uh, battery bank or power bank using the USB C. But for the Sony UMBC, you have to carry the brick. As for the battery, last uh, this one only lasts for two and a half hours to three hours. But I tested Mittency uh, with the large battery like 3500 milliamp, it can last around seven and eight hours so it's great maybe because uh, it's using the arm processor and this one is using the x86 and also the display is much uh, like little bit smaller than the sony's one maybe that's the reason and the other stuff i would say like the expandability uh, the umps this sony have one the this slot you can use either a sim gps or a zip uh, card three types but uh, the sim card uh, slot the sim card expansion doesn't work the modem doesn't work here where i live the gps also uh, doesn't work and the zip nowadays nobody use the zip card so the expandability is really bad for the maintenance you can use anything gps LoRa SD card anything because of the expansion port here uh, this expansion port so I would say like um, rather than if you want to use a UMPC for day-to-day -day task or like you want to rock a UMPC so I will suggest building a mutancy because you can't get a UMPC, the Sony UMPC with uh, third uh, 64 bit CPU that easily. Also the software, if you if you buy a 32 bit version, the software isn't great. You won't find that much of software uh, or apps to use with the 32 bit version. But 64 bit version you can get, but those are really rare. You can't get that cheaply the 64-bit uh, uh, version but I will suggest making a meet and see it's open source you can make it by yourself also if something breaks you can fix it easily by 3d printing or buying the parts from the website uh, any website Aliexpress or any other but this UMPC if something breaks uh, you can't get the parts easily nobody knows how to repair those umpc nowadays because it's how like 16 to 17 years old pc but the thing is the nostalgia uh, the form factor um, and what it represents the sony by ux it's it's great like i'm really glad to have it even though i also own a 
meet and see version 4 but i i will really uh, throw my money to buy the sony vio ux uh, with 64 bit version of the cpu and yeah but it's really hard to get one the 64 bit version and 32 version 32 bit version you can get that much of distro working only debian and the apps uh, in the debian is not up to date so yeah that's the situation right now but i'll suggest if you want to um, use a mutancy uh, go for it but if you get a 64 volt version of the sony vio ux then buy that one but other than that there's not much uh, difference between two uh, both have similar features and way it works and how it feels in the hand it's bo both are similar uh, but uh, advantage of the mutancy is much greater than the umpc but maybe in the version 5 i will fix the issues uh, i talked about with the mutancy version 4 so that's coming uh, yeah so i'm really glad and I, I was able to share this video with you guys hopefully you will uh, build a mutancy version 4 or 5 in the future thanks for watching